Well, all right then. Tickets have been secured for the outfield. I'm Zach Hampel, back at Great American Ballpark here in Cincinnati. And it's going to be another good day today. Yesterday, if you saw that video, I actually felt like I struggled in batting practice. Still got 11 baseballs. The main goal here is to catch one during the game. The Phillies are in town. Like I said, they can really hit. Got Bryce Harper's autograph yesterday. It was a pretty cool day. So this place is going to open pretty soon. Great weather again. And let me just show you guys what it looks like here. Give you a full 360. That's like the main entrance to the stadium. And back over there is the Reds Hall of Fame. A bunch of statues out on the street. It's just gorgeous here. This is truly one of my favorite stadiums. And that's why I make an effort to come here a lot. This will be the 21st game that I've ever attended here. And I live in New York City, so you know that just tells you I do make a point to come here. Anyway, let's head that way. The gates are gonna open soon. Let's do it. I'm pumped. Things today are off to a much better start here in batting practice than they were yesterday. Yesterday, in three groups of Reds batting practice, I only got two baseballs. Today, in the first group for the Reds, I've doubled that. I have four. The first one was an Easter egg that I found in the seats here. There's a deep one. Is that bouncing up? Nope. Gotta look alive when Aristides Aquino is at bat. And then I caught three home runs on the fly, I made a nice jumping catch some good maneuvers down over the seats. So yeah, I'm feeling great. Always double digits is the goal and I feel like I'm off to a great start today. I didn't get one. My videographer did not get a baseball. Only one out here who didn't. Yes. Nice catch, Chris. Well, you just saw what makes Great American Ballpark so awesome. All this room in right field, not a huge crowd, the Reds players being super chill, hitting a lot of balls in the seats. I got seven baseballs. There was the Easter egg early, then five home run balls, four on the fly, and Robert Stevenson tossed me one at the end. Now Stevenson was playing catch with a kid in the corner for probably 10 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen a player throw that long with a fan. And Amir Garrett was playing catch earlier with some really little kids standing behind a barricade in a cluster of fans out on their center field morning track. So just great vibes, great energy here at the stadium. I'm only three baseballs away from double digits. I really think it's gonna happen today for the second straight day. And I think we just witnessed the first pitch of Philly's batting practice. There's a hitter in the cage bunting. So time to take off the Reds hat the lucky Joey Votto wristband, put on the Phillies cap, and try to get a few more. Let's do it. Now that's camera work right there, folks. He's asking me for a ball. He's got one in his hand. Look at that guy in the front row. You're too fast. Have you gotten one? Everybody, have you gotten one? No. All right. Thank 
There it is. You're too fast. Everybody gets baseballs out here. I am too fast. I still got it, baby. That's number nine on the day. Good job. Thank you. So much action today here during batting practice. I got seven baseballs from the Reds and then grabbed a bunch more from the Phillies. Brad Miller was definitely the best hitter today, launching baseballs deep to right field. I got two home runs from him, and when the entire stadium opened at 5.40 p.m., I raced over to the left field seats and got two baseballs there, bringing my total for the day to 14. So I am feeling great right now. And I gotta share a couple of stats with you. With the 14 today, I have now gotten more baseballs lifetime at this stadium than Turner Field. I finally surpassed that old ballpark of the Braves on my all-time stadium list. And this is the 365th game for me ever in which I've gotten double digits. So basically every day for an entire year, that's how many games in double digits I've gotten. That also feels pretty good. Now tonight, there's a really good pitching matchup. Trevor Bauer for the Reds, Aaron Nola for the Phillies, so home runs might be hard to come by. I will be out in left field. I know it's gonna be pretty empty, so as I always say, if they hit him, I'll catch him. We'll see how that goes. Game time is only about 20 minutes from now. So, I mean, the sun is just right in my eyes. How many home runs and at this park? That's my fifth home run that I've caught at this stadium in 21 games. That's a pretty good pace. But yeah, I mean, I was just getting ready to tell everybody, watching on YouTube, Vado was up, and he's lost a lot of power. I mean, he's, he's hit how many home runs this whole year? Maybe about a dozen. Yeah, about a dozen or so. And I know that he does hit him oppo, so I'm ready. And I saw him launch one in this direction, and off the bat I was like, wow, that's pretty deep, that has a chance. And I looked up, and the sun is just right over the top edge of the upper deck. I completely lost the ball. So I, I ran down the stairs a little thinking, if it is going to be a home run, it's probably going to be in the first few rows. And then when it cleared the sun, it was like, whoa, I think that's taken off on me. So that was probably one of the clunkiest looking home run catches, where I was like, going down, going back, and I was like, what? And it, I think I kind of caught it on my thumb a little bit. It was not pretty at all, but man, on the fly, it's got the beautiful 150th anniversary commemorative logo. Now, I did get a couple of these commemorative balls back in April, so it's not like, you know, I had to get one of these on this trip, but 
like I said yesterday outside the stadium, my goal for this trip coming to Cincinnati late in the season, September, the Reds are out of it, kids are back in school, I knew it would be nice and empty. And I figured if I got a home run out here, it would be the Phillies, you know? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe Aquino. Joey Votto, man. Wow. One of our generation's best hitters. So that's really cool to have this one. The our first star stash dash paying tribute to our 150th anniversary in the 1869 Red Light Baseball Purchase Professional Team. Joining us on the outfield warning track. So that's why everybody ran over. Yeah. And front or back? I'm a front kind of guy myself. Come on now. Don't be hating. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, right here. Now you get your forehead signed, you will be in a video. Now it probably costs more than $14. <laughs> Trevor Bauer is in control tonight. Four score listening so far, and the Reds are on top five to nothing. Joey Votto is also having himself quite a night. After that first inning home run, he hit a double, and I'm sitting here thinking, all he needs next is to hit a triple and a single, and I have myself a very historic ball. It'd be the home run from a cycle, but something tells me that Joey Votto doesn't really have the speed required to hit a triple, so there's going to have to be some weird ricochet, and outfielder's going to have to trip and fall on his face. Not that I'm rooting for anybody to get hurt, but I think that's what it would take at this point. So we still got half the ball game to go. Things got a little crazy out here after I got that home run. Evidently, they showed me on the Jumbotron jumping up and down like a complete idiot. So people from all over the stadium saw me, came over to say, hey, which is great, but that just means I have less space now to work with. But, you know, it's still pretty decent out here, so I'm hoping for a second home run. You know, because I'm just never satisfied. What can I say? Bottom of the eighth inning, Brian O'Grady came up to bat left-handed with zero career home runs. So I ran over to right field, hoping he'd hit one and that I'd catch it. Well, he didn't, and as I was running back to left field, Reds pitcher Michael Lorenzen had a turn at bat and launched a home run into the left center field seats. Pretty cool to see that, pretty frustrating not to have a play on it. And then the Reds moved Lorenzen from the pitching mound out to center field for the ninth inning. Lorenzen can do it all, very impressive. He picked up the win tonight. Final score, Reds eight, Phillies five. 
And as for me, man, this day was just insane. 16 total baseballs, including 14 in BP. I got the Votto home run, you can see it right here in the first inning, my 71st lifetime home run. And then I got a toss up from O'Grady, the ball that ended the top of the fifth inning, also commemorative with that 150th anniversary logo. So, the 16 balls tonight, including all the ones I gave away, that brings my lifetime total to 11,039 balls. Man, this place is so awesome! I can't stress it enough. I will be back tomorrow. It's a day game. Probably no BP, unfortunately, but kids are in school and a lot of people are at work, so it might be even emptier out here. Hopefully I can catch another. Thank you guys for watching.